His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's throne day. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty hailed the deep-rooted relations binding the two kingdoms and people, noting steadily growing ties and affirmed the continuing work on developing joint action to achieve common goals and meet the aspirations of the two people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa praised the efforts of the various ministries and state institutions in preparing means of success and providing all the requirements during the Ashura commemorations, which will remain one of the most prominent pillars of religious freedoms and sectarian pluralism the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys throughout the ages. His Majesty added that the commemoration of Ashura this year was characterized by the highest levels of discipline and organization, which underscores Bahrain's open and homogenous society in the midst of a world that must adopt coexistence and cooperation for the benefit of all. His Majesty appreciated the tireless and integrated efforts made by government agencies, each in its field, to commemorate Ashura, praising the provision of all security and community services and the care and follow-up necessary to ensure that rituals are practiced freely and in an orderly manner. His Majesty praised the efforts of the concerned institutions and agencies led by the Ministry of Interior, the Jafari Endowments, Council, Honorable Scholars and Sheikhs, Heads of Ma'atim and Supervising Committees, as well as the efforts of volunteers. His Majesty also appreciated the National awareness and responsibility demonstrated by all during the commemoration of Ashura, thanking the good follow-up and smoothness of the organization. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco on the occasion of Morocco's Throne Day. His Royal Highness wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness commended the long-standing Bahraini-Morocco relations and highlighted the importance of further strengthening bilateral cooperation to achieve common goals. Now, Ma'atim across the Kingdom of Bahrain have commemorated Ashura in a calm and reassuring atmosphere amidst well-studied organizational procedures and commitment from the participants. In a safe and peaceful atmosphere, the rituals of Ashura are commemorated in a well-organized and disciplined manner that preserves the sanctity of the occasion and its religious importance. Ashura commemoration signifies a prominent pillar of religious freedom and sectarian pluralism that the Kingdom of Bahrain enjoys and receives the royal care of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up and interest of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. And an implementation of the royal directives to ensure all services are provided during the Ashura season, the Minister of Interior held extensive meetings with the heads of Matams at the beginning of the month of Muharram in order to activate community partnership and ensure that the rituals of Ashura are performed smoothly and easily. Several other coordination meetings were also held with the relevant bodies to discuss service arrangements and preparations for the Ashura season and follow up on all organizational matters to ensure the commemoration of Ashura in a manner consistent with its religious and spiritual importance. And within the framework of securing the Ashura season, insurance operations were evident as community police of the Ministry of Interior are present amidst a commitment to community partnership. The General Directorate of Traffic also intensified deployment to ensure smooth traffic flow and safety of traffic users, while integrated medical and municipal services were provided to ensure a safe and successful season. Bahrain remains the country of peaceful coexistence and religious tolerance, and the success of Ashura commemoration reinstates Bahrain's spaciousness as an open and homogeneous society and a land of brotherhood and peace. The Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to present many initiatives in the field of combating trafficking in persons, the most notable of which El Amare's establishment of the Expatriate Protection Center, which is the first comprehensive center concerned with the protection and support of workers. The center provides various preventative advisory and legal services in addition to allocating a shelter center for some cases. The center has provided special facilities to house victims and potential victims of trafficking in persons and has taken and implemented the necessary measures to protect them at all stages of the criminal case with the aim of reliving the psychological psychological and material damages relieving rather that they suffer. The national referral mechanism takes the necessary measures regarding all complaints filed by the workers through the center which undertakes the process of providing legal support and registering label and civil lawsuits to be submitted by these to the specialized judiciary by preparing its cases and fulfilling all requirements. 
NBB Multiple Sclerosis Center in the Mahara Governorate is considered the first specialized and independent medical facility in terms of building and equipment for the treatment of multiple sclerosis in Bahrain. More in this report. The government of Bahrain attaches great importance to the health sector as it is considered one of the most important national priorities. The National Bank of Bahrain's Multiple Sclerosis Center is a testament to the keenness of the government in cooperation with the private sector on implementing new projects that provide appropriate services to patients and their families in translation to the royal vision and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on developing the health sector. The center, which offers diagnostic, therapeutic, rehabilitative and preventive services, is considered the first specialized and independent medical facility in terms of building and equipment for the treatment of multiple sclerosis patients in Bahrain. The center features seven outpatient clinics, words for MRI diagnosis, physiotherapy, manual exercise therapy, in addition to private and public treatment rooms, a laboratory, a pharmacy, a scientific research center, a lecture hall, medical warehouses, a service building, administrative offices, and parking lots. Bahrain continues to strengthen the foundations of the health sector to be more sustainable and resilient in order to enable it to provide premium medical services to the people of Bahrain. Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah received a phone call from his Swedish counterpart Tobias Bellstorm. During the phone call, the Saudi Foreign Minister renewed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's total rejection of all attempts to offend the Holy Quran and its demand to take immediate measures to stop these extremist acts that attempt to undermine holy books and provoke the feelings of Muslims around the world. His Highness affirmed that the repeated incidents of burning copies of the Holy Quran contribute to fueling hatred and limit efforts for a dialogue between people and civilizations. The United Nations announced the transfer of the crude oil from the decaying tank of a Yemeni tanker to a replacement vessel. The operation started three days ago and is estimated to take about three weeks. After years of remaining a threat to navigational and environmental security in the Red Sea, the process of transporting the oil contained in the software tank came as a breakthrough after expectations were indicating the possibility of a leak at any moment, as this tanker anchors five nautical miles off the coast of Al-Hudayda governorate in Yemen. The FSO software super tanker contains more than one million barrels of crude oil. The World Health Organization announced that the conflict in Sudan has caused a health crisis for more than 3 million people who have been forced to flee. The WHO confirmed the reports of cases of communicable and other diseases among the displaced population who have sought shelter in hard-to-reach locations. The organization also underscored the massive scale of the health crisis in Sudan, stressing that it is working hard to provide vital emergency medical supplies. The embassies of France, Germany, Italy, the United Kingdom and the United States affirmed their support for the efforts of Special Representative of the UN Secretary General for Libya in involving all Libyan parties in addressing the points of disagreement regarding the laws of the 6 plus 6 committee. The embassies stressed in a joint statement on the need to address all the disputed elements in the electoral framework to make it implementable, affirming their support for securing the comprehensive political agreement necessary on the path to elections. 
The United Nations Security Council strongly condemned the efforts to unconstitutionally change the legitimate government of Niger and called for the immediate and unconditional release of Niger's president, Mohamed Bazoum. In a statement agreed by consensus, the 15-member council stressed the need to protect Bazoum, his family and members of his government. The members of the Security Council expressed concern over the negative impact of unconstitutional changes of government in the region, increase in terrorist activities and a dire socio-economic situation. For his part, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called for the immediate release of the ousted president of Niger and stress continuing the work to fully restore the constitutional order and democratic rule in Niger. Charlottenburg Palace in the German city of Berlin is a historical palace whose construction dates back to the 17th century and is considered one of the most important historical and cultural monuments in the city. This palace is also an attractive destination for tourists visiting Berlin to enjoy watching the ancient and historical architecture and strolling through the picturesque gardens. The palace was a small one known as Leitzenberg, owned by Prince Friedrich I. In 1695, his wife Sophie Charlotte decided to expand and develop the palace. Work continued on expanding and renovating the palace over the years, and during the Second World War, the palace was severely damaged by bombing, but it was rebuilt and restored after the war. Inside the palace, a large collection of furniture, statues, paintings, mosaics, and other works of art dating back to different historical periods is displayed. It is characterized by its beautiful gardens and scenic surroundings.